Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here. And what I'll be doing today is staying inside and playing video games. All right, so a lot of people have been asking me about, hey, can you do an end game repeated build? I think y'all missed it in the viewer test because this was the end game repeated build that I put out. But since you guys missed it, here we go. Here's a video dedicated just to this build that I showed. So uh, of course, uh, a viewer had asked me about a build that was basically a meta build. And I said, well, I can improve it and, you know, transform it in a way that I feel would be beneficial. Um, this was the actual result. So this build is pretty hardcore, all right? But it does dish out a lot of damage. So it's very good if you know how to use discipline. And of course, if you're good with healing, if you want to really reach the heights of DPS, this is the way to do it. Okay, dynamic deadlights from Malkyrion with a reuse cell, toughness cell, chamber is full bore. Okay, you want to get your precision sights mod, and the bond will be the Savates bond, alright, Savates Avengers. Okay, you've got your discipline omni cell right here. You've got Koshai's Bloom as your lantern with a reuse cell. You've got uh, Dark Watch with a Berserker cell. You've got Thrax's Shadow with a recycle cell. You've got Malkyrion's Grasp with a Predator Cell, and last but not least, Chrono Treads with a Recycle Cell. Lots of endgame pieces in here, but it is very powerful. Overall, the perks that you're going to have with this build, plain and simple, are Cunning 6, Predator 6, Pulse 6, Recycle 6, Reuse 6, Berserker 3, Tough 3. Berserker 3 is better than Berserker 6 in the sense that uh, if go going up to Berserker 6 gives you only an additional 15% damage. Whereas Berserker 3 gives you 20% damage, so the first increase is more than the second, which is why I choose to sacrifice it for Recycle, because targeting a single part with the repeaters is very powerful and very simple to do. Recycle going up to 60% if you can hit 6 shots in the same part. So it's very potent, very powerful, and has a, and has a high uptime, alright? Cunning and Pulse are to chain together with Discipline, giving you a very, very good crit rate, and every time you crit, you're going to hit for about a 2 times multiplier, which is really, really important. Predator is just your base damage for 35% extra as long as you don't take a hit, and with the repeaters, you generally don't take a hit, all right? Koshai's Bloom is there as a backup in case you do take a hit, and Toughness is here just to keep you alive. You can drop it for even more damage, but I don't recommend that unless you want to play Flawless. You want to play full Flawless, you go Berserker here, all right? And the best part about this build is that the... Lantern slots are freely changeable, so you want to use Catalyst, you can go Catalyst. You want to use um, Etheric Attunement, you can go Etheric Attunement. You want to use um, Molten to prevent fire damage, you can go Molten. The choice is entirely yours. But what I would say is that Reuse, if you're not going to use Catalyst, is probably the best choice that you have. Now, of course, with my level 12 repeaters, we're going to go demonstrate this in actual combat, which I'm sure you're eager to see. We're going to go over to Hades Reach, all right? And we're going to see uh, how we survive. And now we're gonna need now we're gonna need a little bit of music for this so Okay, so we'll go and take on whatever is the toughest thing here, which is probably the Skarn. Alright, what, what you need to keep in mind with this build is that... Oops, sorry, wrong camera. What you need to keep in mind with this build is that you are, effectively, only going to use your lantern when you really, really need lifesteal. Alright? Otherwise, it, now it's very good for getting your life back up, but if you use it in other situations, you're probably not going to have a fun time. Now, as I mentioned, with this particular build, you want to generally focus on one particular part of the behemoth, alright? Now, normally you would only fight behemoths three to four levels above you because, as you know, the XP caps at five levels. So anything above five levels, you are literally not going to get any value out of it. 
okay? So just be very aware of that. Because a lot of folks, like, they, they try to go ham. But what they don't realize is that it's really not going to help them even if they do. Alright? So you don't ever want to go too ham. Because if you do so, you're just wasting your time. Alright? Get very used to dodging. And just focus on a single part. As long as you do... Not only will you break the part, enabling you to stagger the behemoth, but you'll kill it very fast. That was a level 18 Skarn. There you go. Now, what happens if you fight something three levels above you, like the recommendation? Alright, let's see. Da 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 da. I love this music, I swear. Alright, against a mere Hellion, alright, now always, always get your attack speed up. Use your discipline to not only gain more crit damage, which is beautiful, alright, but with it, you can dish out additional damage. Now, I use the lantern to get lifesteal. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I focus on the next part that I want to break. So I've already broken the face and the other and the other leg. Now this leg is broken. Do you see the do you see the insane pretty much stagger lock? You know, it's funny because a lot of people always ask, oh, why aren't you stagger locking? Why aren't you stagger locking? First of all, fuckers. Alright? This is this is for the morons from the official Discord. First of all, fuckers. Um the stagger locking will not always be possible if you're actually leveling above your level. Okay? Okay? Yeah. And of course, I don't have to guzzle tonics to make my build work. But as you can see, a properly applied build will always get the kills that you need. Very easy. It's very easy, very straightforward to do. Alright? In just this, like, seven minutes, you've literally seen me take down two behemoths. Alright? So if you want the highest damage... Repeat a build, but with a safety that will keep you from getting instantly janked. You don't have to go full flawless. You play Asian robot style. All right. So here you go. Here's the end game repeat a build. I hope you all enjoy it. It is currently one of the strongest in the game. All right. Have fun. Have fun. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like my content, you want to see more of it, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. The more you do, the more I will make. All right. I, because I'll do anything for money. You ready? Alright, catch you on the next one, folks.